Hi, Travel Dave UK here, and today I'm going to be explaining what I pack into my hand luggage. For the past six years, I've been traveling with only hand luggage around the world to over 87 destinations. So, anyone that says traveling with hand luggage, it's an urban myth, it's not. I'm living example, and that's what this video is all about. I'm going to guide you through step by step exactly what I pack into my day luggage to show you exactly what you can pack and also take some examples. This is very specific, so it's specific to my lifestyle, so of course you'll have to adapt some items to your way of traveling, and that's totally fine, but just use my walkthrough as an example of what I do. But this is all I need to travel, so I hope this video helps, and first of all, I'm gonna go through exactly what I'm wearing, because I'm not going to film this video naked, <laughs> even though I probably get a lot of views on YouTube, but that's fine, I'm just gonna just walk through everything I'm wearing now, also want to pack and at the end of this video I'm also going to do a quick speed video of me packing all the stuff into the hand luggage. So yeah, I hope you find this video helpful and uh, let's get started. So first of all, just to manage multiple climates, I like to carry winter gear as well as summer gear. So I keep a light layer with me. At the moment I'm just wearing a, a beanie. This is made of merino wool. So that's got um, friendly bacteria in it, so it doesn't smell as quickly. So you can wear it quite a lot of times and it still keeps nice and fresh, but it's also extremely, extremely warm. This is from like mountain sheep. So it's like really good quality merino wool. So that's the hat I'm wearing. So pound for pound, it's also very light. Um, this is just a normal tea, just a H&M grey tea. So all the Mark Zuckerberg fans out there, yes, I think he copied my style. I'm not sure if I copied his style, but I'm pretty sure he copied mine. I just wear the same t-shirt to keep my morning rituals as easy as possible. I wake up, I chuck on a tea, I get out. That's, it's that simple. So that's why I keep all of the same clothing throughout the walkthrough, which I'll show you in a bit later. Um, these are just some khaki trousers, H&M as well. And also the thing that I can't show you is also my shoes that I'm wearing. These are North Face Hedgehogs. These are the second edition and um, they're fully Gore-Tex. But because I can't literally pack like 10 pairs of shoes, I only have that one pair of shoes. They're completely waterproof, very breathable. They've got a Viacom sole, so they're very good on rugged terrain such as hard rock surfaces. Give my feet that added protection. They're all in all a very good pair of shoes and because I can only have one pair of shoes, they're my chosen hiking shoes of choice. So they're like a mixture between normal trainers and hiking shoes, sort of like a hybrid. But these shoes, these shoes here, they do very, very well for multiple terrains and they're very, very comfortable for flights. So I like to use these shoes because, yeah, I literally can only pack one pair of shoes. They're the winner. Okay, so let me show you my gear. So this is roughly a little overview of everything that I pack into my hand luggage. Um, so I'm gonna walk you through item per item and then I'm gonna pack that later. A lot of hostels charge uh, for you to use towels. So if you're traveling as much as, as I do, that's gonna add up over time. So just invest in a really good towel, but pack towel. This is a life adventure pack towel. So this dries nine times faster than any average towel. <laughs> Such a telemarketer. But anyway, it just literally folds up like this. It's a huge towel, you know. Let me just quickly show you, like it's absolutely massive. But you can kind of fold it up, you can dry it on outside of your backpack, and you can just roll it up. There's no bags, you get this nice little clip, and it kind of just folds and tightly tucks into itself, and it kind of goes into the palm of your hand. So that's a great thing to pack, you know, it's gonna save you a lot of money, it's gonna keep you dry, you can take it to the beach, packed out, life adventure packed out, and it's lightweight as well. So there we go. Um, next, uh, next I have here is just a H&M shirt. This is just for those casual moments as I was talking about my shoes because they sort of look like trainers. I can kind of wear them in bars and nightclubs, no one really cares. But then this is just a, a normal H&M checkered shirt. I only have one. Sometimes I have to wash it in the sink. But yeah, it just kind of makes me look a bit more smart and casual with the car keys. Uh, so that's just, I normally wear that in a bit more like business settings, but you know, just one shirt, that's what I need. Also, if you want to come closer, um, so this is um, my North Face Gore-Tex jacket. This is a heavy material. The water literally drips off it like a shower. It will just trickle down. This is extremely waterproof. I need this for like the really wet climates. And um, so this is a must. It was quite an expensive investment, but it's, it's saved me a lot of situations. 
you need to invest in a good rain jacket. That's one thing. Shoes, rain jacket, and backpack. Those are the three key items that you need to invest, you know, some good quality investment into. But I really like North Face products. I used to work for them. So they, I'm, they don't endorse me at all, but I just have a lot of trust with North Face equipment because they're very technical. I've, they've, they've, I've really relied on them throughout the years. They've never let me down. Good quality products. So that's the rain jacket I use. This is a thermal ball North Face um, jacket. So this goes under my waterproofing jacket to offer some extra warmth. This is great for cold elements with my hat and my gloves that I'll show you later. This is what I need to get to like extreme conditions up to minus 10, I'm good to go. So with the waterproof jacket and all the other layering. So any further you need to get more layering, but this is a good base level for many winter conditions. It literally slides on like this. And I use this actually rather frequently at airports um, because it keeps me nice and warm in the air conditioning when it's absolutely freezing and for long flights. It's very comfortable, it's like wearing a sleeping bag. This thing I use as a jacket most often, and I've only washed it once in its lifetime. <laughs> so I just washed, washed it yesterday, so it smells really nice. But this is a, a fully down jacket made of goose feathers to add absolute technical warmth to your layering system. And that layering system is going to keep you warm in those hot conditions. But it's also very warm, and I like to wear this. It's also kind of trendy, and it also has the hood. So I bought the hood edition just to give me some extra warmth around the head, especially for wind. This is not waterproof, okay? I'll repeat that again. This is not waterproof, so do not wear this out in rain. But put it under the water, the rain jacket, you're good to go. Okay, and then the great thing about this, you know, bearing in mind I travel very light, this is the only jacket I have as well as the rain jacket. So everything else is just a t-shirt. Is that good and this I just bought a little stuff bag you can stuff it into its pocket and it literally packs down to nothing okay and that's the great thing about this technical thermal ball the North Face thermal ball jacket it packs down to nothing it's gonna keep you warm must buy it, okay that's cool so that's my main overlay gear also I pack these stuff bags I keep a green one for laundry, these are from Life Adventure, keep a green one for laundry, black one for everything else, so I separate the clothing and also the laundry, and then these pack the clothing down which I'm going to show you in the packing tutorial at the end when I'm going to fast forward it. So that's what I'm packing them into, the Life Adventure stuff sacks. The good thing about these bags is it's going to pack all of the air out, Okay, not packing cubes that don't pack the air out. Air is your enemy when you're packing. If you can pack all the air out with a stuff sack, it's gonna save you a lot of space. So that's my key tip. I also have a blog post about these, so you know, check that out. And th these are great, these are my, my lifesaver for the packing, that's my packing secret. Okay, so stuff sacks, I have three of those. These are medium size, about 10 liters. Okay, um, just to finish off the clothes, um, I have a pair of jeans. Um, these are quick dry, um, they, just, they just work very well. I always carry two pairs of trousers, the car keys and the jeans. Um, I kind of alterate them throughout just my style, what I'm wearing. I'm normally using jeans for flying because it's just kind of comfy. These are the grey t-shirts I was talking about. I have five of these, there's four here and the one I'm wearing. Same t-shirt, easy to clean, easy to get dressed in the morning. Bing bang bong, sorted. I also pack pair of shorts that double up as my swim shorts. Only one pair of shorts. You can wash these in the sink, they dry in half an hour. Packing shorts. Underwear, standard H&M boxes. The shirts, socks and boxes I replace every year. I do wear these like every day almost. They get very wear and tear. So I replace them just after Christmas. Every single year I buy exactly the same items from the exact same H&M store and I just restock the same things. And that's the same with the socks, standard sports socks, five pairs, five pairs of H&M boxes, five H&M grey style t-shirts, easy. I buy all of that again, as I was saying, every year, once a year, just replenish them. Because it's just nice, because the t-shirts get kind of warm, the underwear get kind of warm, the socks get kind of warm. You do need to replace them, so yeah, every year I replace the same items. I'm such a fashion guru, hey? <laughs> Not stylish at all. And then um, to finish off the winter gear, I pack these North Face E-tip gloves. 
So with the thermal ball North Face jacket, this merino wool hat and the gloves, I'm good for down to minus 10. Um, these have e-tips so I can use my smartphone for photography. Very handy gloves indeed. So that finishes off the winter packing. Bum, bum, bum. I also pack a vapour water bottle. This packs, this roll, you can get rid of the water, roll it down. I've got a blog post about this as well, you can check out. And it's vapour. And this actually, once the water's out, it packs in and goes in back into its clip. And then that can go on the plane. So this is good for going airside at the airport when you can't take water on the other side. You pack this down, put it inside your backpack, get to the other side of the airport, fill it up with water. This is going to save you a lot of money along with the pack towel. If you keep refilling this bottle, you're saving the planet because you're not buying bottles everywhere you go, plastic bottles. Even drinking water in like Venice costs like four euros. Just pack one of these and it's going to save you a lot of money on the road. I, I, I drink, it also encourages me to drink lots of water throughout the day. So there's that. Um, just for scribbling and doing my to-do list, I carry a post-it note pack with me everywhere I go and I just fill that out every day and I do a new one every day. So I carry a Pilot G2 ink pen. Uh, that's the pen that I use uh, with the post-it note as well as a Sharpie which just literally writes on everything. So that's my physical writing world, two pens and a post-it note. I also uh, pack a Kindle everywhere I go. Uh, I love the Kindle. The Kindle is one of the best items I have in my backpack because it has two months of battery life. I have over 300 books on this. I love to read on long plane journeys, long bus rides, long, literally everything that's going to take a lot of time which happens with travel. This is just going to save my bacon. You know, it's going to give me that battery life, that reading experience. And it's like a Game Boy for reading. So this is the basic Amazon Kindle because it's only like 50 bucks, like 50, 60 quid on the Amazon store. So if I lose it or I want to give it to a friend, it's really not too expensive, but it's just one of those amazing entertainment systems which is going to keep you entertained on the road. So that's the Amazon Kindle, the basic edition. Um, and I also do all my photography videos, running the blog, checking my emails, Instagram, Snapchat, Periscope, Everything I run on Travel Dave UK is operated with the iPhone 6S. This is a full functional 4K camera, which is just fantastic quality for photos. The camera is just amazing, and it's also got loads of apps. It's really handy. This, this one device literally cuts out so many items in my backpack, even such like things such as a calculator. I've even got my credit card connected to it. Like It's literally cutting so many items out of my, my hand luggage. So, you know, thank you iPhone. <laughs> all my camera equipment, imagine all the lenses. This is, this is a real traveler tool. Without this, I'm pretty much stuck. Uh, the apps, the guidebooks, everything. You could replace your Kindle, but I just love keeping the two month battery life because the battery life on iPhones, you know, not gonna last longer than a day. But generally this device does everything that I need to and it cuts out a lot of items in my backpack. So that's a winner. Of course, British passport, ain't going anywhere about this. I'm not going to explain the passport. Um, I also carry an electric razor with an eight hour battery in it. That's just a, Ooh. <laughs> just keep me nice and groomed. Especially when you're going to border control, you want to look a bit more tidy, otherwise people want to ask questions. This is going to save you a lot. It's nice to keep yourself uh, clean as well. So yeah, I keep that with the power adapter in its own case. So that's that. Um, I also have a, um, a battery pack uh, just in case my iPhone's going low because I do get into the middle of nowhere so that just gives one full day charge on there that's so handy to have with you everywhere you go I have a life adventure wallet um, which just keeps all my part uh, all my documents in there my my credit cards and stuff and that's a really nice thin travel wallet I like to use it's, it's not too expensive so it's kind of nice it's got a RF a RFID reader on it as well, so people can't swipe my data off the off these new RFID cards. Really handy wallet. And um, I also travel. This is my um, uh, my what do you call this? Like health health kit. Uh, <laughs> my toilet kit. Um, I just keep a rollable deodorant, no spraying. Uh, this is very small. This is la this lasts for months, literally months. Um, I keep a small toothpaste, 
and toothbrush, some nail trimmings because it's not good when you're eating street food. You don't want to get you want to get all the dirt out of your nails. You want to keep small nails. Also for your hiking boots, you want to cut your nails regularly, otherwise you're going to hurt your feet. So that, just keep a nail clipper there, and some lip balm after flights just to re-moisturise my lips, and I just keep a little tiny shower gel and I refill this everywhere I find soap. <laughs> I haven't paid for soap for four years, so this really works just refilling hotel shampoo bottles. Um, also, uh, yeah, to charge my phone and my Kindle, which are the two devices I need to charge, I use these things called Nomad Keys. Um, this is a micro USB and a Thunderbolt port. Uh, so these two literally are very, very small cables, and that charges all the devices that I need on a key ring. Very, very small wiring system. Um, I also have my reading glasses because I'm almost half blind <laughs> and a pair of uh, polarized sunglasses just to protect my eyes in sunshine. Um, and then also um, one novelty item that I, I pack are some Bose headphones. Uh, this comes with a microphone so I can use to speak on Periscope or recording um, and taking pictures. But this, the Boss Bose headphones are a great investment because I can just listen to them on long flights. I love to listen to podcasts, I love to listen to audio. So just investing in a good pair of headphones just keeps my kind of entertainment uh, just a bit more better. And I have to say I'm really impressed. It's a new item this year. And really happy I went for a jump to get some Bose headphones. I was just fed up with losing um, cheap headphones, but having a pair of like expensive headphones, investing in some good quality headphones, I've been a bit more careful with them and I use them for video editing and they're just really good investment. I also keep a little number lock padlock just to protect my bag when I'm out and about. I use that to lock the laptop compartment of my backpack which I'm going to talk about. And last of all is, ah, oh, sorry, no, no, I use, with my smartphone I also use a GorillaPod smartphone tripod um, which I use to stand my iPhone up on. And um, that's a really good item to have with the iPhone, especially when I do some panning on the video with the 4K on the iPhone. Really happy with the GorillaPod uh, Gobby tripod there for smartphones. And last but not least over here, um, this is my Apple 11 inch MacBook Air. I am a big fan of the Apple MacBook Air. This Look how thin this is, you can slice a pizza with it, literally. Um, I'm very happy with this laptop. It's uh, the latest model. I try and keep all my kit the latest edition as possible, uh, just because I need the best quality on the road. But this is a power machine of a laptop. I run the whole blog on this. This is everything I need to run a business. So I'm very happy with the iPad 11, sorry, <laughs> the Apple MacBook Air 11 inch. This is just a really good piece of kit. Very happy with that. I also use a Apple mouse um, with that to just also use for photo editing, video editing just helps with the process. This is a new item this year and um, very happy with the mighty mouse, the magic mouse. So that's just another bit of kit. The plug bug is a USB charger and uh, this attaches to the top and then you can also just slide off adapters so I have all the global adapters onto the plug bug. Um, which allows me to charge it around the world. And the final item is the backpack itself. This is the North Face Surge. Um, this is a fantastic backpack. This is my hand luggage of choice. Um, this has literally holds all the items that I've gone through. And yeah, I'm very, very happy with this. Um, again, North Face equipment. But yeah, the, the router is just fantastic for storing laptops because it has a a storage compartment which fits iPads but my 11 inch fits in this section so this is great for the 11 inch Apple MacBook users so that's why I use this because I get that extra case protection built into the bag it has lots of compartments and sections to store everything that I need really really impressed with this backpack I've been I replaced this with the um, the Surge uh, just give you a bit more extra space. Very happy with that extra space and if it's everything I've just gone through now. So thank you so much for following this video about what I pack into my hand luggage. And yeah, as I was saying, about six years ago I sold everything I owned on eBay. I flogged everything, got minimalistic and just cut everything down. 
all the items that I've just shown you now fit into this hand luggage and it's everything that I own in the world to travel around the world. So literally this is everything I own, so you've just seen it all. It's not a lot but it, it allows me to do what I need to do every day. Every item helps and I'm able to do this by cutting out things which I don't use on a day to day basis, investing in good things that I do use on a day to day basis and then you know trying to avoid buying lots of things and that's the takeaway action from this you don't need to buy loads of stuff you're not going to use invest in things you're going to use and use that cash to travel the world instead sell things that you're not using the TV you know watch Netflix on your laptop you don't need the TV and that's the, the whole takeaway from this video you know you can live like this I've lived like this for six years it's totally possible so I hope you found this video useful and I'm going to write a blog post going through all of the items which you can find on Travel Day, Dave 2016 packing list. So thank you again. I hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching.